Yeah, so so let me ask you this. Yeah. How do you how do you deal with constantly not coming like not hitting your targets? Like cuz for a lot of people that would be defeating. Yeah, so how do you get through that? I mean, I don't know if I I don't know maybe that's why I'm always agitated. But <laughs> um You know, because you know, it's like we said the other day. I said, Jared, man, I, I need, I, I, you know, I need to take off for a second. He's like, man, if I was you, what'd you say? I said, I said, shit, if I had your money, I would have done that a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but, but it's not the money that I'm playing for. Just so you guys understand, I'm talking to you about money. But it's not the money that I'm playing for. It is the sense of I reach my potential. My, my friend Steve Harvey said, man, Grant, you're blessed. I said, oh, shit, I know that, Steve. I, I mean, tell me something I don't know. I know I'm blessed. I need to go prove it. And he's like, man, I love that. Everybody here is blessed. Most people will not go out and prove it every day. And so the thing that I do is I am so disappointed with myself. And Jared knows this, okay? Jared knows, because Jared's with me every day. Jared's watched me grow. I've watched Jared grow. Jared's watched me grow. And, you know, 2008, we were, I was going through that thing. I was like, ah, oh, I'm dying. This is over. My, I, my whole world's going to end. I'm never going to have any money. I, we, I think I owned 300 apartments at the time, which seems like a big deal, but it was actually 300 units and, and a bank a, a, a bank loan that was due and a lot of problems and I had a lawsuit come in on me that was completely contrived and, and frivolous and that was taking money from me and what I thought was enough was getting attacked Jared was sitting there watching it. I'm like dude we gotta we gotta rebuild no one knew me how many of you can relate no one knew my name. None of you guys knew my name. This is 12 years ago, 11, 11 years ago. No one knew my name here. Um, we did not have the product lineup we had. I didn't have all these the big lineup of best-selling books. The target, I had spent 20 years building a business and no one knew me. How is that even possible? Because I built a business. Look at Blaine. Blaine's losing her mind right now. How is it possible to be on this planet for 50 years and nobody knows you? Like you have to be trying. You have to be trying not to get known. I was 30 years old before I got on a plane and flew any place. What, what, what was I thinking? I was not trained to travel. You know, I was taught as a kid, take care of your family. It's selfish. And so um, in 2008, when 2008, it was like God hit me with a sledgehammer and said, son, what have you been thinking about? Bro, I gave you all these gifts, okay? So what I got to do is pressurize this punk. I'm going to put this guy under so much pressure. And it just woke me up to what's possible. And then I started climbing up this ladder. And I'm like, dude, what else is possible? This is amazing. And so I go from 600 apartments, 1,000 thousand or two thousand I'm like dang what can I do here and then I start scaling we go do 300 people I remember I used to talk to to 60 people in a room a bunch of automobile salesmen for eight hours a day 80 people they paid hundred ninety five dollars to spend all day with me and half of them were pissed off about it by the end of the day <laughs> my customer base hated me it's not that they hated me. They were never appreciative. How many of you got customers that aren't appreciative? And you know what I did? I kept delivering to an audience that didn't appreciate me. I kept giving of myself to an audience that did not appreciate me. Hopefully I'm hitting home with somebody because I was trying to make 60 grand a year. The moment I changed my target from 60,000 to 600 to 6 million, I could know I, it forced me, the goal forced me to go to an audience that would appreciate me. You guys get that?